He's already crapped on my sign, that pigeon. If he carries on, he's going to get himself shot. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to this special video. You see, I've been waiting now for the last nine weeks to get into my new premises. I've been waiting to set up my new sort of carpet, new venture if you like, and it's been a very, very frustrating sort of, well, eight, nine weeks since I last sold my business and I'm waiting to get the keys to set up here. But finally we're in, we've been here now for just over a week, uh, we're just trying to get everything set up and organized and we're starting to get ready now and we've just started trading. So in this video, I'm gonna show you around. And of course, first thing we need to address is what are we called? Where are we? Well, we are based here in Crewe in Cheshire. I already mentioned that in a previous vlog because asking for name suggestions uh, and in the end I had some very good suggestions by the way for names. The name that came second actually was uh, the car crew which I thought was a very good play on words and um, that was quite a good one but in the end I just went for something a bit more simplistic and something that I kept mentioning all the time you see I kept saying to people and kept saying in these videos we get our new car pitch sorted out when we get on the pitch that's what I kept referring to as obviously this is a car pitch so I thought it'd be simple just to call it a straight straightforward name that people will remember so guys let me introduce you to the car pitch Right, here we are guys. Welcome to the car pitch. We're on crew in West Street in Cheshire. This car pitch has been here for, God, nearly 50, 60 years. It's been a garage, a forecourt, petrol station, you name it, it's been it. It was recently ran by a friend of mine who's just, just retired and effectively he just did what I'm doing now. He sold cheapy cars, sort of under three and a half grand. Apologies for the bit of the road noise because we're on a very, very busy road in crew. Um, it's probably one of the busiest roads in crew. So we've got a lot of footfall, which is great. So we've got a lot of people coming on the pitch. We've also got a lot of noise to contend with as well. But uh, yeah, we're starting to stock up now. We've been here since Saturday. Um, we've got quite a lot of few bits on. You'll probably see some bits recognised, some bits that have been on the channel already. So I'll quickly show you around a few bits. I'm not going to go around everything because obviously um, we're going to do some videos on each individual ones. Uh, but I'll quickly just show you what we've got um, and then what also we've got in the background because we've got a lot of cars that still aren't on site. We've got a lot of cars at paint. And uh, I'll tell you what's been going on about the rest of the week as well. And also just quick show you inside in the premises in the workshop. So. Like you said at the moment, we've got an old variety of all stuffs on. We've got Kia C's, we've got Astras, we've got Peugeots, uh, we've got Fiestas, we've got Yaris's, we've got a couple of the old Kias again, the Rios, we've got a couple of them, a couple of Fiat 500s, a couple of 207s. We've got a corner over here full of stuff that's waiting to go for the workshop. You may recognise one or two of these bits. The Safira, that was in a vlog once. We've got the Mondeo we bought from auction a few weeks ago. That's been come back from paint. That's looking absolutely superb. Um, you can see the polish on it there, look few little bits on it had a ding in this wing if you remember um, it looked a, it looked a bonny car and this wing was a bit uh, icky and also it had a little bit as well on it we didn't really notice it at the auction there was a few little bits just going on the arches as well so I had them tidied up as well and it's just come up really really nice so, and it's an old car like it's an old petrol Mondeo but it's only got very low mileage I think it only had about 70,000 miles of memory um, so that's one that's in the in the process of being done up again with the Zafira we've got an Astra that's been featured we've got a few bits in the corner that have already been sold there's all sorts going on so like I said at the moment, we're, not, we're nowhere near full um, and also we're contending with the fact that we've actually sold a few cars since we've been here as well so we're now chasing the tail a little bit uh, like I say there, this Mondeo sold which I talked about in a minute we've got uh, another few bits sold as well it's, uh, it's been a bit of a bumper week but to say, we can get plenty more on here obviously we've had lots of people turning up and obviously selling cars which is what we're here for but uh, like I said, we'll get about 30, 35 cars on here rammed if we need to obviously we've got the truck as well which we need to sort of base here which is a bit of, takes a bit of room but this is a necessary evil that we need obviously we need a few spaces for a self parking um at the moment we're just sort of spreading them out a little bit a little bit more liberal should we say just to try and make it look a bit more packed than it actually is because we're still getting stuff for the workshop still trying to get stuff prepped uh, and obviously then we can start lining them up in lines once we get them in lines we probably get about 30 or so just in that block there and then probably another 25 around the edges and if we wanted to we could probably even get more than that but then we'd literally have enough no room to move but if we need to pack it up we will pack it up because at the end of the day we're not going to stop buying cars especially if they're good value and especially if we're trying to sell them so 
that's the pitch side of it um, it does need we are slowly trying to clean it up it's been a little bit I'll be honest a little bit neglected really over the last sort of year or so um, it's we've just constantly sort of trying to sweep things up and we're finding bits of we're finding bits of crap everywhere but you know it, it's just just general maintenance weeding I've we had it weeded the place about three times and it doesn't look like I've done anything you know, we just have to keep plodding on at it so in between bits we are sort of getting there um, I said we put the new signs up there's a pigeon there look almost a pigeon he's already crapped on my sign that pigeon if he carries on he's gonna get himself shot but uh, yeah we've got the new signs up we've got a banner up there as well we've got a new signs coming for the front for now we've just stuck the banner up so we've just got some sort of name going we're slowly getting there same with the inside and the workshops you know in an ideal world we want to do more in here but we just had to get in in a rush and sort of get things moving so we're going to spend money on the place but not so much at the beginning now we're going to do that sort of when we get a bit more established down the line we'll get it how we want it you know i mean i'm not a one person for for spending loads of money unnecessarily i'm, I'm i do watch the money i do watch the margins but we do need to spend a bit of money in here and sort of make it a bit more look a bit more friendly and just a bit more easy on the eye um but like i said this is the workshop just a conventional old-fashioned uh, workshop uh, two ramps two poster ramps we can get obviously two cars and you can get more than two cars and if you stick them up in the air you can stick stuff under if you wanted to if you're really stuck or struggling for space got a few bits in here at the moment it's a little cheapies we've got a little ford fiesta that's just come back from valley um just gonna do some pictures on that later just want to look a few little touchings on one side and a bit of a mop up which i'll do later but that's a nice body car a little cheapy this is the sort of thing that we're dealing with here it's like a 1.2 fiesta i think it's done about 103,000 miles from memory a little 1.25 z tech petrol best engine you want stick a ticket on it we've already done all the work to it just literally now just want a little bit of paint and it'd be ready to go up for sale go for the workshop bit of a pdi we can get this sold out something like that it's going to be about 15 1600 pounds of a warranty and an mot this is the sort of tackle we're dealing with we're dealing with cheapy cars for people to use to a to b something they can just use get a few years out of you know hopefully more than that but at least get a few years out of and just then move on to something else you know we have people call it banger economics cheapest whatever you want to call it it's sensible budget motoring and this is what this site really and what this premise is has always been about for years and years and years you eagle eye viewers may recognize this car actually this range rover that is the wife's range rover um, i might do a video on that because we're having a little bit of a saga with it in between all what's been going on uh it's broken down would you believe a range rover that's broken down that could be a very serious problem that's developed but enough of that because that's just upsetting me now um they like said so we've just for now we've just, we've just thrown ourselves in here we've got all the boxes in we've got all the stuff in we've everything in storage in an ideal world i wanted to come in here i wanted to paint all the floors i wanted to paint all the sides from day one there just wasn't the time because literally everything happened so fast um the mechanic came back as well last minute he wasn't supposed to be working with us full time and he was worked with me in my previous business he got made redundant went to work for someone else um and then he had a bit of falling out of him as i meant as I mentioned in an update recently so he's then come back so that's then had to be put into the equation we've had to get him in here and I basically had to get him earning money because obviously um, I can't afford to pay him out of my own pocket and not earn any money so he's obviously fixing our cars up and we're doing a little bit of servicing work as well just to just tie it over a little bit of servicing work a little bit of general repairs nothing too major um, and it just helps you know with the bringing in a bit more income and obviously subsidize and pay a bit of his wages off so yeah it's, it's, it's just an old-fashioned little scruffy workshop it is what it is but it's ideal for us couple of ramps there's only three of us here so we can just jump on ramps and work on stuff when we're not doing anything you know it's, it's just an ideal situation got all the boxes and that all set up like i said we've still got boxes of things everywhere we're just trying to unlock trying to undo finding stuff all the time and remembering stuff that we had because we brought a lot of stuff from our old premises it's just been an absolute sort of rush to get in here and then you know you took catch chasing your tail from literally day one we, we've been working here silly hours we were here over the weekend last as well and sunday working all day it really has been a bit of a marathon just to try and get somewhere near ready and start trading on monday which is when we actually officially started training and also buying stuff as well it's even like little things like this we came in here and then all of a sudden right you get a service done on a car and then you realize hang on we haven't got an oil drainer because all our stuff we had in our previous business was sold with the business so other than sort of general hand tools and the very few niche bits we had everything else went with that business so then you're sort of having to remember the stuff you haven't got anymore and it's for little things it can be like the little the smallest things the smallest details you need to run a workshop and that was like another thing we had to buy straight away another oil drainer not expensive but again it just it puts you back because then you're using like a tray and stuff to drain oil it's just not ideal uh, this is the back room here 
um, we've obviously got compressor that was in here already in here anyway old 1950s compressor absolutely silent as a mouse they don't make things like this anymore this thing now old dirty old compressor is absolutely amazing it's really quiet you compare it to modern compressors honestly modern compressors are a piece of junk in comparison to some of this old stuff uh, but yeah we've got the time machine and balancer in here as well they were already here actually my luckily my um friend who had this premises he left these here which is a great help because that saved us thousands of pounds not having to buy that equipment which otherwise we would have had to have bought um, this goes through to the this door here goes through to the back office but i'll go for the front and show you oh, oh toilet and a little bit of a uh, kitchen area kitchen area is horrible uh, it all wants gutting out so that's another job to do so at the moment we just cleaned it up best we can and using it it's not the best it's horrible in there absolutely grimy and horrible but it has got lots of cakes in it which is good but like i said in reality probably i wouldn't let a dog shit in there um the toilet's nice though that's been done up recently so i'm, I'm quite pleased with that um, next door is actually a business attached to this. It's actually all one, owned by the same landlord, uh, but this is all split away. So this is our bit here. We've obviously got the we've obviously got the office here. We've got the workshops, and then obviously we've got the main forecourt. This is a sort of separate bit. So our sort of line, if you like, if you our sort of uh, border is across there. You can see where the cones are, where it just sort of goes in. That's next door's business. Nice guy actually. Um, got, I've known him for years as well, so uh, he's been really he's been really decent and uh, helped us along and. You know, it's just, just been ideal, really. The ideal sort of neighbour, that's just what you want. It's getting a bit busy now. Right. The office. Um, like I said, barely done anything in here. You know, decoration-wise is the last thing on our mind currently. But we've got ourselves in here. It's got a little bit of counter going on here. It looks like someone out of a chip shop. Uh, <laughs> but um, it, it's, it'll do, it's a work area. Um, we're getting solely set up on things. We've got, obviously we've got, we've got the computers set up, paperwork set up, just getting everything sort of unloaded, unboxed. We've got everything to hand. Top Don, JS2000. That's here. That needs to be here. That's uh, been useful over the week. Um, yeah, so we're just slowly getting to grips with things. It's just a very small little office. I mean, this site is what it is. It's not some great big glorious, make big massive car dealership. You know, you don't get the, the ideas of if people have the ideas and we take it on a, like a, a big main agent something like that it's not like that it's a small down to earth sort of one man bandish sort of place and yes and it does need a little bit of work in it we do need to throw a bit of money at the place and we will do it but for now we're just going to get, get operating get ourselves some money earned get real get used to it that's what we do. we're going to get used to the job um and then that's it you know and, and from there we can we can establish what sort of business we've got work on it grow it and then maybe in a month or two's time, you can start getting things sorted. Obviously in here, I want it repainting. I want the floor up. The floor's been here for years. You know, redo all the counters and that. I just want to get it all looking right. But it has to be, you know, we can't, we can't run before we can walk. That's the end of the day. Little back office here. Just a keyboard, really. Tags and stuff. Notice board. Just a bit of a junk room, really. The old uh, signs for the windscreens. Just a, just a little bit of a back shelf. Again, nothing really too special. Um... So I'm sorry if you were expecting something a bit more grandeur. Uh, it isn't like that. We are, we are. It's just a very basic sort of car pitch. But this is what I, I like. That there was a Peugeot 306 GTI I went past, which is a rare old beast. So anyway, let me uh, have a sit down and let's have a little bit of a chat about what we're going to do, why we're going to operate. Tell you how the week's gone as well, what we've sold, um, and give you a bit more context about what we're doing going forward. Okay, right, so, a little bit of talk about the business, why we're here, what we're doing, what we're doing going forward. Uh, those of you who've noticed already, it's going dark, so uh, I've cut the video from earlier, as soon as I put the camera down, people were sort of piling in already, trying to get in, have a look at cars, we had a successful day today, we saw a few bits as well, which is great, so it's, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. So, backstory to this now, before I go home. Um, I get this wrapped up. We, we are basically the car pitch limited. We are in Crewe in Cheshire. I was somewhere I know very well. I was born here. I went to school here. Um, I grew up around the corner, so I know this place very well. And um, it's a, I've I've known this site for ten years. A friend of mine who's now my landlord, who's now retired, he came to me last year, asked me what to take over the business. He was thinking of retiring. I was frustrated with my previous business. I've been there for 10 years, running an MOT station, selling cars, albeit on a smaller scale. 
Um, I always traded cars, I have an auction background as well, I used to have a car auction, so I always traded a lot of cars, bought and sold stuff, but I didn't retail that much, I used to retail a handful a month, whereas here obviously you're gonna be, in, everything's retail. Um, so it's a bit of a step up on that side of things, but if you know, decided great, the opportunity, everything sort of fell in line at the right time. So I thought, I was frustrated with that business, which is why I sort of set this channel up, and then he approached me, the landlord for this place, and said, do you want it? Everything just went well, it all landed right. So I decided that, you know what, it'll integrate well with the channel, this is what we're about, let's let's do it. So at Christmas I made a decision, put the business up for sale, sold it very quickly, and now we're here. Um, yeah, so it's been within a week in, um, we are selling cars from 12.95 to sort of three and a half grand. What I've always dealt in predominantly, what this site has always dealt with, what locals around here have always known this site to sell. There isn't really much out around here that sells cheapy cars as I would call them, or that people call them bangers. I mean, cheapy cars is probably more uh, apt name for them. But um, yeah, it, it's the budget end side of the vehicles. There isn't many places around like this anymore. So this is what it's about. We're selling these budget cars. And I want to put my own stamp on it. The reputation that the previous owner had for here is very good. He's built it up over the last 30 years. We just want to build on that. We want to expand it. Obviously, we want to put our own stamp on it and improve it as well. I'm not saying that the standards weren't great before and they were good, but there's no harm in making them better. So, you know, we will we'll put our own uh, sort of uh, mark on it. Um, I said they've got a team of two people working for me. It was in my previous business. Uh, that was a Big corrosion of that all came back around, but it is what it is. We're now sort of back together. The same team that were in the last business is now here. So we are, you know, which is great. And um, we'll say we're a week in and we're enjoying it so far. It's, um, you know, a bit strange really because we're having to sort of deal with, when some days you don't make any money. It's a bit weird. When you're in a garage, you make money that day and at the end of the day, you cash up and you know what you made. In car sales, you might not do anything for three days and then all of a sudden sell four cars. It's really strange that, but you'll get used to it. Um, so you've got to think more monthly rather than sort of week to week or day to day out what your earnings are. But um, yeah, we would say we're going to um, expand the site, we're going to get up to speed. We're going to get hopefully about, we can get about 30, 40 cars on here. In reality, you'll probably only ever have 20, 25 on sale at any one time, purely because we're selling them as quick as we're getting them out. and. It's August, not very busy at the moment, really, anyway, in the motor trade. It's, August has always been a rubbish month. So, it, you know, it's only going to get better, I foresee. But if we get up to numbers and great, but it's about getting them sold, and then you've got to prep them and get them out and to the customers. Then you've got to get your stuff that you've bought in from auctions or part exchanges or whatever bought locally. I've got to get that prepped and out. There's only so much we can do. We've only got two ramps. You know, you go waiting for paint. You can only get so much done. But we'll get 2025 out if we work on that basis. We can got plenty there to sell, uh, and hopefully we can hit the numbers we need to sell. And when we need to hit numbers, I don't say that in a sort of salesman sort of way and sort of talk about. I hate it when salesmen talk about units and stuff and all. Oh, I got to my head in. Um, it, it, it's it, these are cars, and we want to sell cars right to people and make sure they're hundred percent and do the best we can by people and stand by them as well and do a proper job. However, it is a business, like I've already mentioned before. So we do have to look at the other side of it and realize that we do have to make targets, if you like, if you want to call it that, or we have to make a certain amount of income coming in. So we've got to do that. Um, and that means say we've got to sell cars. As simple as that, that's the simplest way of doing it. If we sell cars, we're all right. If we don't sell enough cars, we'll go under. As simple as how it works, really, because I can't, I can't basically um, keep flooding money into the business forever um, eventually the money will run out. So we have to sort of stand our own two feet. This first week has been great. We're fine, we know we're on, we've, we've, we've got where we want to be. I'm happy with where we are. Uh, next week, we'll see what happens. But if we get, we don't need to sell a lot. We know if we sell a dozen a month, we'll be over the moon, over the moon. Our overheads are decent. We're not got expensive overheads. It's quite, a, you know, the rent's fair. I'm not going to go into all the costings of it, but the rent is fair. The, you know, the overheads here are quite cheap. The people we've got around us who we sort of are using for valeting and paint, and all, they're reasonably priced. We're in a good area. We've got, you know, a decent sort of catchment, if you like, of people around us who, who we can sort of use and sort of build our team around. But most stuff we're saying will be done in house anyway. So the type of cars that we're selling, like I said, 12.95 to sort of three and a half grand. Most stuff around here. To be honest with you, it's going to be around two to three grand. The, the odd bits we've got around 15 to two grand, 1500 pounds, two grand, sorry. 
And we've got the odd thing we've had for 12.95 or 13.95, the odd exception. But most stuff's going to be around that sort of money. Um, we, we, this is what's been sold prior to that as well by the previous uh, owner. So it's about, about right. We don't really want to change that. And that's what I've always dealt in anyway. Uh, so uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're not going to be selling, uh, you know, high performance cars or anything like that. Forget all that. That's not what we're about. People might think that it's dull or boring what we're selling, you know, you know with Focuses, Astras, Fiat 500s, all that. But that's what sells around here. That's what people want. Um, and I'm not going to start changing that for, to, to, to suit other people's preferences. And that's one thing I always say to Voltra as well, and they'll ask people ask me advice about when they were buying and selling, what should I buy and sell? Don't buy and sell stuff that you like. Buy and sell what sells, not what you like. If you go buy selling stuff what you like, you will never be successful in this in this business. Trust me, I've seen too many people do it. Just go and buy, work out what sells, buy that and sell them. Now, it sounds a lot easier than it is, but that's the underpinning of anything. Just find what sells and you know and focus on that. Always good to start something small, to be honest. Small cars, they always sell. Um, I go, go buy a look of I goes. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be bread and butter stuff. We know what we want, what we don't want. You know, there's certain car models we won't touch, there's other ones that we'll happily deal in, and we'll play it by ear. Obviously, going forward, every car we're going to sell, if they have warrants on them, will be obviously, will be PDI'd in house, which I'll personally have a look at myself, and you know, all the little bits we'll do on them. We, 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 you know, we do go to town these cars, and they can be rectified and turned around quite well on, you know, not a great deal of money needing to spend on them. Don't think that everything's really expensive. If we're doing all the labour ourselves, Parts really aren't that dear for this sort of stuff we're buying and selling. You have the exception, really, but most stuff's reasonably priced, and you can do a lot with a, a budget. You know, you've got a decent budget to throw at a car, and that's what we're about. Just sort of taking a car, getting the budget, working out what a margin is, know what we need to spend, get a list together, work out whether it's cost effective. If it is, get on with it, um, and then fix all the faults, go through the problems that we know. I mean, I've, half the cars we're dealing with, I've seen these cars day in day out for in my in my previous job as a tester so i know all the faults and all the issues just rectify them you know get them sorted get them solved send them out the best we can prep right and just you know hopefully the customer has a great experience with the car and last them as long as possible obviously we can only do so much we can't you know the car goes boom in two years time because they haven't bothered to service it there's nothing we can do but we've got to send it out right at our end and ultimately you've got to do that anyway because if you don't they'll just come back anyway so just send them out right do your best you can we haven't got a crystal ball. There will be a mistake made once or twice. It will happen inevitably. You know, no one's perfect. If they say they are, they're a liar. You, you've got to just do your best you can. And hopefully, I'd like to think by now, the people watching the videos and etc., that we do try our best. We are, we do, we, we do try and do things right. And and you know, we're not trying to shy away spending money. I will move heaven and earth to solve a problem for someone if, it, if it's genuine an issue. That, that that's been caused and you know I, I've got to sort it I will sort it I, I, I'm one of those people who, who does sort of things I don't I don't wash, try and push people away or or, 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 or bury my head in the sand I will get on with it I will you know and sort it out I might, I might be a bit cross about it or frustrated about the car but I will fix things and make sure the customer's right as long as they're reasonable to me I'll be reasonable to them so that is what we're about. If you're interested at the moment, I know people are going to ask me about a website. At the moment, the website, I haven't got one going at the moment, and it's not because I'm incompetent and I haven't set one up, and it just, it's not been the time. Plus, at the moment, I don't really need one. We're selling loads of stuff. We're selling stuff locally, people walking on all the time and buying stuff. So at the moment, that's not really my main priority. Facebook, we are on Facebook, The Car Pitch Limited. Please like, go subscribe. Is it like, subscribe, like, follow? Is it on Facebook? I don't know. Anyway, The Car Pitch Limited, we're on Facebook. We're on there, Have a check us out. I do put stuff on there. Not everything is on there, so you know, please don't go on there. I think that's all we've got. We've got more than what's on there, but again, half the stuff I don't put on there because it's sold before we even get it on. So the best thing to do, if you're local, come and see us. Get on the phone, speak to us. Get an email sent to us. Uh, but yes, yeah, if those of you who do come down, I'll just give a, a, a pre-warning if you like. Um, just uh, bear in mind, I mean this in the nicest possible way, please bear in mind this is a place of work. I, I have got the time for people, 
I'm happy to speak to people and have conversations with people all the time. I, you know, I'm a really approachable person. I mean, I've been on holidays in Spain and all over, and people walking over to me in bars, speaking to me about the channel. I've been in the airport, and a guy called me. Uh, you know, I spoke to him and his and his wife. No problem speaking to anyone. I'm a most down to earth, most pleasant person you could possibly meet. And, but you know, if it's coming to a place of work, if I am busy. Um, I don't think I'm being rude if, 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 I've, you know, if I've got a short conversation with you I, it is a place of work it, 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 sometimes it can be frustrating and difficult you know, to, to sort of when things are going on to get things done so if you come down just have that just be, please, just please bear that in mind uh, but if I've got the time to speak to you I will do uh, you know, I have no problems at all speaking to people and I obviously will help and assist but we will do our best for you guys hopefully we'll see in 12 months time if I'm pulling my hair out whether I made the right decision I don't think I, I will have I think that um, I'm I think that we've made the right decision, uh, but we'll see. We'll, you know, we can only try. Some people say you can't make money on cheapy cars. I beg to differ. I've been doing it for years. We will see. The proof will be in the pudding, as they say. So we'll come back to it in a year's time, hopefully, yeah, and we'll ask that question if not, it's been worth doing or not. But for now, we'll crack on. We'll do our best uh, and uh, turn around some cars as well. Channel going forward, more reviews, more vlogs, more day-to-day -day sort of just spontaneous go out and filming have around the pitch and stuff. I will do more content. So there's been a bit of a blip this month, obviously, because I moved in. Don't worry, guys. I will get on top of it now. More content is coming. I've got a lot more banked up. So I'll get on that soon, edit it, get it out, and we'll start more regular content going forward, including auction videos as well. We've got auctions to go to all over the country. I've been invited everywhere. So we're going to go to them as well. So lots of auction content coming. Don't worry about that. So thank you for watching this one, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Check out the Facebook page, The Carpets Limited. Or pop down and see us. We're in crew, West Street. You'll find it on Google. Thank you again, and I'll see you all very soon.